What's up guys, Pete here and welcome back to another knife review. Today we're going to be looking at the Kershaw Link, an excellent little spring assisted offering from Kershaw. Let me get into the blade specs real quick just before I get into uh, the pros and cons. First off, let's talk about that blade. As you can see, it is the black wash finish. Very, very nice, kind of a, a stone tumbled look to it. Always a personal favorite of mine. The blade length is three and a quarter inches. It is 420 HC. It is a drop point style blade, as you can see here. Now, the spec sheet does list this as a uh, hollow ground blade, though if you ask me, it seems like more of a flat grind. So if it is hollow ground, it is a very, very shallow grind, but that's just me. It does have a little swedge up here, partially sharpened, uh, and it's actually got a very nice little contour to it that I'll try and show you guys more a little bit later. Now, as far as the handles go, we're talking aluminum handles over top of stainless steel liners. This is a liner lock knife. Show you that lock up right here, fairly secure. Of course, my camera doesn't want to focus today, but does it ever? There you go. Very secure lockup. As I did mention, this is a spring-assisted knife. Flies out of there lightning fast without any real issues whatsoever. Came that way out of the box. Didn't have to edit the pivot. Didn't have to re-oil it or anything. Lightning fast out of the box. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. The handle length is... Uh, oh, I don't actually have the handle length, but total length is 7.6 inches long, and I'll have the handle length down in the description. Now let's get into the nitty gritty, some of the pros and cons about this knife. Now first things first, overall aesthetic, very, very attractive knife. I love the black wash personally because while I do like coatings on my knives, I do like black coated knives, uh, eventually they do st start looking kind of meh as you use them more and you get more scratches and dings in them. They look less and less attractive and they look more like they've been damaged or beat up. So having that stone wash look but that already have those small imperfections on it, it's hard to tell as the knife gets used more and more and that wear that just comes with standard usage just kind of flows a little bit nicer into the knife and it just looks a bit better. So aesthetically, the blade is very, very attractive. Now the handles are also very attractive. It's got this very unique contouring to it. It's got this, uh, well, I guess you could call it chamfer around the edge here, very attractive. The overall shape of the handle is fantastic. It fits in the hand excellently locks you in in pretty much any grip that you can think of. Very, very comfortable. Very, very form-fitting for my hand. Uh, also, aesthetically, their choice for the uh, the hardware is very nice. If you look on the reverse side here, they're not just uh, blind holes. They've got these little end caps in them, which were a very nice choice. I'm sure it wasn't a cheap choice, but it looks very good. And similar style here for the, uh, the pivot screw. This handle clip, by the way, is reversible. Or sorry, this pocket clip, by the way, is reversible for a left and right side tip-up carry. So that's always a nice little option to have there. And of course, you've got the extra holes here for that hardware if you were to do so. Now, let's go into a little more specifics here. Spring assist, very, very strong. I've never had any issues with a, uh, I believe it's called the speed safe mechanism from Kershaw. Uh, they're on their shallots, their leaks. All of their knives that have that just works fantastically right out of the box, pretty much always. But that does bring me into my first con. And that is the actual actuation of that, which in this case, this is a flipper knife. So there's a little flipper tab back here. Uh, first off, it is very much so a light switch. You have to pull it back. You cannot push button it into the frame of the knife. It just doesn't work. You have to pull it back like so. Now, while that does work, it's a little finicky. It's a bit of a, a strong action. It takes a bit of pressure here to get past that initial detent, and it can start hurting your fingers after a little while if you do it incorrectly. Now, it does just take a little bit of practice to get used to it and do it in a way that's comfortable for you, but it's just something to keep in mind. It's a little yeah, it's a little bit different than some other knives, so it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. But if you own a lot of flippers, you know that each one is unique, and it does take a little bit different to get used to it. Now, that brings me to the next important point, which is the cost of this knife. This knife costs about $40. It, you know, I got it off of Blade HQ for just over $40. I'm sure you could find it on Amazon, uh, Knife Center, similar websites for about the same. It's a very reasonable price for what you're getting here. The, the craftsmanship, the quality is fairly decent. Uh, everything is built very, very well to very tight tolerances. You get some nice aesthetic choices like this backspacer here, though this is also very necessary for the speed assist, uh, sorry, for the speed safe spring assist mechanism. You do need some kind of backspacer here. Um, I might show that if I ever do a teardown of my Kershaw leak, but it is uh, integral to the, uh, the way the mechanism works. But it is very nice and stylized. It does have that jimping back there. Uh, ooh, which is actually something I wanted to mention. There is no jimping on the spine of the knife up here, which personally I do prefer if there is jimping, but aesthetically it is more attractive as it is, especially considering you have that very nice, very unique little uh, contouring to the back of the spine here at the swedge, where it starts out very, very narrow and then widens out as you go to the tip, which also serves a functional purpose as it allows there to be more material towards the tip. You're less likely to break or bend the knife tip that way, because this is a very, very... Uh, extreme grind here, which I was calling flat ground. The spec sheet says hollow ground. 
it means you have more material here up towards the tip. So when there's not a lot of material at the blade stock here, it means that it's a little bit stronger thanks to that contouring up top. So well done there. Uh, and it's also, again, aesthetically very pleasing. Kind of as the whole knife is, honestly. This color uh, scheme here is very, very attractive. Um, I also do like this lanyard hole here. It winds up basically being a fully uh, tubed lanyard hole. It's going to be kind of hard to show that, but the way that the backspacer kicks in there, it is completely covered up. So you don't have to worry about getting caught on anything, which is always nice. And aesthetically, I like the way they kind of bumped out the handle to match where that lanyard hole goes. Now, again, I never put lanyards on my knives, but it's nice to have the option for those of you who do, and they did it in a well-executed way. Overall, I'd say this is a very, very excellent blade. I really haven't found any major grievances with it besides that little issue with the flipper tab, which, again, is partially my fault for just not being very used to it. But I really can't get enough of this knife. It's fun just to, you know, launch it out there. That spring assist is very, very strong. Very, very satisfying click action as you get it open. Very, very fun to play with, but it's also very functional. That blade shape is excellent for slicing, and it will do a fantastic job of that. Again, it came literally razor sharp out of the box. Kind of a rare thing nowadays. Some knives, whether they're hand sharpened or machine sharpened, just don't quite cut it, pun not intended. Uh, but they're just, they're just not up to snuff. This knife, on the other hand, no issues whatsoever. Literally razor sharp out of the box. Cuts paper, no problem. Uh, very, very happy with that. I will not have a need to put this on the uh, Lansky system anytime soon, which is always a bonus when I get a new knife in. So overall, for a $40 knife, which I can't stress enough, this is only a $40 knife, guys. We're getting a lot of material here. You're getting a lot of strength. You're getting a lot of uh, cutting life and durability here. For 40 bucks, it's kind of uh, hard to find something in that range that's this level of quality. So very nice offering from Kershaw. Well done, as always, guys. Very well put together. Very nice presentation. And most importantly, a very functional tool, very functional knife, whether you're using it for self-defense or just EDC for, you know, a cutting tool, what have you. Works very, very well. So I would definitely say I'd have to recommend this knife to a friend. It's absolutely fantastic. I might even give it away as a gift to one of my personal friends. So it's going to be hard letting go if I do decide to do that. So that pretty much covers everything I wanted to go over with this knife. Again, Kershaw link, excellent little offering from Kershaw. Very, very effective speed assist mechanism. Just keep that in mind if you are ever to carry this across state lines or something like that. Always be aware of your state laws. Uh, but yeah, fantastic little knife. So that covers everything, guys. Thanks again for watching. I just want to say I really appreciate all of the uh, conversations I've been seeing in the comments section lately. A lot of great comments, a lot of very valuable comments, and I really do appreciate the dialogue that I have with you guys. A lot of very insightful things, whether it's knife recommendations or just sharpening tips, things like that. Great to see the community reaching out, guys. So well done there. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any questions regarding this knife, another knife, or just anything in general. Always happy to talk with you guys. As always, keep your edges sharp and your mind sharper, and I'll see you in the next one.